Okay, cool. So um, we've just roughed it in, and if we take a look at our timeline here, we can see that uh, we have all of our rough layers pinned. So we don't need these anymore. Um, and we're going to be looking at these guys here. So let's select these and pin them to our timeline. It would be kind of cool if there was a faster way to do this, like if you could actually select all of them, um, select all of them, and then unpin all of them at the same time. But Critty can't do that yet. Uh, so you're just going to have to do one at a time, but that's okay. Just relax, take a breath. Um, slow, thoughtful process is going to help you, you know, get through it. Uh, it's the kind of thing sometimes you just got to, you know, when it comes down to tie down, clean up and painting, just put on some music or a podcast and just chill. Okay, so I'm going to do the tie down. Uh, so I have a couple of brushes in here. Um, usually this big fat brush I use for filling in for my flats and paints. Um, unless I'm going for, well, it depends on what you're going for, right? But it's, it's a good solid brush. It's fast, it's light. Um, I've chosen most of these brushes, they're all default, um, pretty much because they're just fast and they're light. But the one that we're going to clean up in is going to be, uh, no, sorry, we're not doing clean up, we're doing a tie down. So let's just switch up our pencil and work out what we're going to do for our, our tie down, right? So we're going to say uh, this is going to be kind of, I want to give this, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and we're going to chisel some of this in really kind of, uh, you know, stylize, stylize some of that. Nice, big, fat guy. Okay, there you go. All right, cool. Make sure we get a nice D shape on there. Follow our, our line of action through here. Okay, so that's gonna be almost our tie down. So it's just becoming a little bit more refined. We're working it out. Um, we're just a little bit more closer to really getting what we wanna what we wanna have down on paper. Put one here, put three up here, and one here. Let's put three. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So I think let's just push these little stitchings in. Okay. All right. Cool. And then. Um, Let's come in and draw our, our shadows. So we have our shadow wrap around. So let's say it's going to, let's have it follow the seam. Let's keep it really simple. Okay, so all of that information is going to be our shadow. And notice I'm drawing it on another layer as well. It just gives me more flexibility. Um, and then when I'm wanting to have something really quickly, I'm just going to zoom out and quickly, you know, just let everybody know, hey man, this is going to be my shadow area. Shadow here and here. Let's just put some in there. A hair of it here, and um, and then we're going to put in our highlights. So we're going to put in a highlight here. It's going to run along this edge. Okay. I might push that down into there. Have our shadow through here. Shadow there and there. I think that's going to be pretty much it. And put that one there and then keep it graphical. Okay, so that is going to be our, our tie down. Our tie down pass. Yep. Okay, so uh, if we turn our rough off, that's that's going to be our that's our map for doing our cleanup. So we'll do the cleanup in the next one. So all I've been using at this point in time is just brush and then E flips, flips the brush into the eraser. So where are we here? Lining. Yep. Okay. No. It's not. Where am I? Oh, I think because I'm on the eraser. Uh, yep. This truly is amazing. Okay. Where is it? The black. Give me some of the paint on there. No. Nothing's happening.
Oh, so apparently we're back in business. Um, unfortunately, I would love to tell you uh, um, it's simpler than that. Um, it's actually it's actually easy to deal with, but you are dealing with all of these layers. So um, yeah, try and keep your head screwed on when you do it because um, it can it can be a little bit I guess finicky, um, especially when you're using hotkeys. So what I was saying is basically brush. Hit E on the keyboard and you're going to erase. Um, one thing that you'll find that does happen is you're going to, if you're, because when you're animating, you're using control spacebar to zoom in and out and shift spacebar to rotate. So what's going to happen is your um, color picker is the control key when you're on the brush. And so what's going to happen is you're going to accidentally hit the control key and then you're going to start drawing. You're going to be like, hey man, I can't see anything. And that's because you're actually drawing in the mid tone gray or you're drawing in the color of the background. Um, so if we just switch it back. And that's going to happen. So it's probably it might be best just to switch the hotkey to you know to something really banal like in picking colors, something all the way on the other side of the keyboard. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of that's it for doing a tie down. Okay, all right. Next one. Let's move into. I mean, uh, yeah, let's move into the cleanup. 